Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. In the last episode, we explored more of the city of Numara. In this episode, we're going to explore more. Now, the first thing we're going to do is complete the gondola errand. Oops. Let's go back to the main, uh, to main street. Oh no, this leads to the port. Oops, I didn't want to do this. We will need to go to the port later, but... I'm not going to go there yet. And the Crimson Forest will be going to another episode as well. That's a dungeon. Let's see. Alright. Go over this, over this way and... And are here. And we can look around here. We didn't get the items over here in the last episode. Wind bomb. We got a new product in town in, in today. The customers all love how beautiful it is. I wanted to keep one for myself, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to. We get five gale wings. Which might unlock a new ring assembly here. Yep, we can now make wind ring ultras. So I'll go ahead and make. No reason not to, really. And that's all the items. In this room, and seed number 37. So we have all the seeds. We got all the seeds in Main Street. Well, we got all the seeds in Numara so far in the areas we've been. So we're good on we're good on that now. All right, but we want to go back here. Don't go that way, because if you go that way, you'll have to go back through the door over to the left. We want to go this way first. And there's the, remember that one woman we talked to in the last episode said she was waiting on her boyfriend and he was keeping her waiting. Well, here he is right here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. This is strange. I'm supposed to meet my girl here, but she's nowhere to be seen. Oops, I meant, didn't mean to skip the dialogue there. Wait, what? You want me to get that box for you? Yeah, I'm um, sure. Won't be much trouble. Pretty shrewd of you guys. <laughs> and he brought the box over here to us. Here we get the shine spell. It's a level 3 white magic spell. Inflicts small light damage and blind on all enemies. Could tip me off. Hope he isn't too mad at me. Let's go see if she is. There's nothing over here, right? Nope. Nope, we're good. And we don't have to go past that guy. We can just go this way. Well, I pulled off my gon gondola date. It's all thanks to you. All right, you wanted the box, right? Well, don't worry, I'm on it. Do we get the the mint ear? Check that out. Occasionally decreases the damage inflicted by magic to zero. So that's obviously a pretty unique. Accessory. Obviously very situational, you know. Like, it's not always going to work, obviously, but when it does work, it's really overpowered. Let's 
It's alright. Cactus. So where are we going? Alright, that's it for that. Alright. I didn't know his name was Cactus. So... Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go on the Canal Street now. I'm pretty sure. Just want to double check. I know we got all the seeds and everything. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's just head on the Canal Street now. The queen's finally back, but she's so tired from her journey that she didn't have a single word for us. It feels so good sitting here with the breeze coming off the canal. Do you really think General Kirkconnus is after the queen's throne? Not that ferreting out spies is really a queen's job, I suppose. The canal flows down to the port and then connects to the ocean. See the seagulls flying around? Yeah, this is Canal Street. And a capsule. Sit on in here. Maya Family Art Studio. Five sticky tape. I always, oh, I still find that weird though. That's called sticky tape. I mean, why don't you just call it tape? I mean, cause like, I'd be, like, why is tape not sticky? You mean, you mean there's actually tape that's not sticky? I've never seen tape that isn't sticky. But what do I know? Maybe there is. Seeds of Terror. Ten gold. Let's see if we can make a new ring with that. A uh, fear ring, but you need eight seeds of terror. Hmm, that painting on the wall there. The bigger one. Eh, I'm sure it's nothing. Mint powder. Kind of reminds me of, uh... Final Fantasy VIII, you know that one village uh, where they're making all those sculptures and stuff? Uh, the Sh what is it? The Shuma Village? Is that what it was called? Kind of reminds me of the room, one of the rooms in that area uh, where there's a bunch of sculptures and stuff. That's what this area here, this room here reminds me of. What do you think of the sculpture? Is it, it just mesmerizing how the line meets with that surface? He, I thought so. I think this is quite a nice piece of work. Now let's talk to this guy. Sculpture's husband, Ma Maaya. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Phew. Ah. Art is a grueling pursuit down in the trenches. It is tough to tell whether or not you're improving. If you could bring me something to serve as inspiration, that'd help me get the ball rolling. You could make something new if I had some crystal fragments from the Crimson Forest. 
Sure wish someone would bring me one. Yeah, so we'll be going to the Crimson Forest. Definitely not in this episode though, but we will be going there. Probably about two or three more episodes from now, if I had to guess. Because we have, still have more to do here in uh, Numara. This canal flows out of the port and then connects to the oceans. Oh yeah, I already talked to him. Oops. You again, huh? We're not catch you loitering. Shut up, bro. Toss it into that r river over there, bro. Just take you up by the head. I'm just, pff, I'm just toss you over, bro. I cast a fishing line for the first time in many years, but I guess my skills have left me. The fish took off with my rod. <laughs> what kind of fish was it? It wasn't a damn fish then. Unless you're a weakling. There's no point getting angry at a fish. I guess I'll spend the rest of the day taking in the sun. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Fish do fight pretty hard, but you know you're not gonna. They're not gonna fight hard enough to like take your rod from you. They can snap the line, of course, but they're not gonna sn snatch your whole rod unless you not ha don't have a tight grip on it. You see how wide this road is? That's how military vehicles can cross it after exiting their base in the port. I don't see any children around. I guess they've found some secret hideout to play in again. I'm ask me to go buy this thing. But they don't have it here. Aw oh man. Do I have to go all the way to the other street? I'm scared of all the people there. And you should be. Shouldn't be roaming the streets as a kid. When you get to be an adult, then you roam the streets. When you're an adult, you do what you want. I know a kid be, should be roaming the streets unless they're getting home from school. Or going to school. Their bus. Or whatever. Or seed. Seed number 38. Got people going on about the queen. The general right now. But me. I don't really care about anything like that. Yeah me neither. Mars is a peaceful nation. It's not like anything will change. Even if we get a new leader. That's why we hid the treasure in. Yeah, agreed. Whoa. Who are you guys? You want to join our club? Club? Grown ups aren't allowed usually, but if you can still see, could put, put you through the initiation trial. <laughs> Take control? Yes. Alright, find our treasures and bring them back here. Mine is a red balloon, and it's hidden near something of the same color. Mine's a model of a gondola. I put it right next to something that looks just like it. Think you can find it? Mine's a doll of a dress. So let's go shopping down this road. If you can find them, bring them back here. Okay. I'm gonna cry if you don't find my doll soon. Look a little harder. For me. You didn't find it? Bah. This is too hard for you grown-ups. My red balloon's hidden near. I think of the same color. Haven't you found my gondola model yet? Isn't I put it right next to something that looks just like it. Enough of a hint. Hey, wait. Wait up. You're not my brother. 
I'm sorry my sister must have caused some trouble for you. Look, you get lost if you keep that up. I told you to wait while I get you the balloon, didn't I? Another dream. Thousand years of dreams. Dream has been revealed. Don't forget me now, you hear? So obviously I'm not going to be reading it. They take too long to read, but pause the video if you want to read it yourself. I'll leave it on the screen for a little bit. But if I'm going too fast, just pause. I'm glad I'm not reading these as well because we'd literally be here a whole episode just reading this. Not that I read slow or anything, but I don't read super fast like some people do on YouTube. But uh, even if I read super fast, it would still take a long time to do this. Because of how long the storylines are. But I appreciate stuff like this though. Like I said, it makes sense that they're long too, because obviously this, this whole story here could have took place over years, you know? Like, I don't, I don't obviously know how long the story took place, but probably a long amount of time considering how long it is. And you can say the same for all of them, you know. Now this whole story could have took place within a time span of like 10 years, you know. Like, we don't know. I just like, the reason I like these dreams is because I appreciate the creativity, you know, like coming up with all these storylines for each of the dreams just seems so insane to me, you know, 
Like, you know how creative you have to be to make up all these storylines? And then not only that, <laughs> he literally had to make the story of the game as well. So, it's, it's just crazy. Whoa, that's quite a lady you've got with you. Isn't it great to be attractive? You sure got it easy. Me? Not asking for the world. I just wish I was a bit more popular with the ladies. Oh, really? Huh? So getting the ladies isn't all that fun after all. What are you doing in the old town? If I catch you in any funny business, I'll slap the cuffs on you just like that. Yeah, and I'll toss you into a nearby lake if you try to do that. Where we get doll in a dress. Alright, so I need to find the other items. Um... I think there might be one down here, if I remember correctly. Model of a gondola. I'm just going to find the red balloon. Might be down that road over there, but let's try back here. Nope. I don't really remember where it's at, but we'll, we'll find it. There's something red. I'll be farther down. Proceed. Bob poisonous bones. No, it wasn't this far down. Oh, dang it, I didn't want to enter here. You're not supposed to leave the area, I don't think. I have to just look up where it said. I don't really remember. Even though I just played this game in 2022, but still. It's a couple years ago, and I don't remember every damn crucial detail. Oh, there it is. Mars Balloon. There we go. We found all three items. There we go. Oh, you found all the treasures. Well, 
I guess you'd be the first grown up to join our club then. And here's your proof of membership. I found this in the trash can over there. Pretty cool, huh? Don't be shy with it. That's disgusting, kid. Kill on earrings. Oh, God. And you gotta put the earrings on that were from the trash. Grants me to kill a lawn. I don't really recommend equipping those though because um, there's not many battles where you fight Kelalons in the game. They're few and far between. Cat. Caddy. La. Family house. Bonding powder. The Brave Little Boy Part 1. Once there was a little boy who was very brave, he also very behaved, so all of his family loved him very much. A nearby mountain, there was an evil monster who liked to cause terrible trouble for the people in town, ruining their crops and kidnapping their children. He was strong, his fangs were sharp, and his body was covered in tough scales. So no... So none of the soldiers in the land were strong enough to defeat him. One day the brave little boy saw how distressed the townspeople were. Why is everyone crying? He asked his mother. You have a monster kidnapped the princess, she answered. Why was the princess kidnapped? The boy asked. Monster likes little children and beautiful princesses the most because their meat is soft and succulent. That's weird, answered the mother. Why isn't anyone helping the princess? The boy asked. The mother answered. The soldiers tried to rescue her, but they were all killed by that monster. The monster was one of the strongest in the land. Even when every soldier in town banded together to fight him, he just opened his enormous mouth and swallowed them up all at once. But mother... The boy exclaimed, Doesn't he have any weaknesses? The monster has no scales on the tip of his tail, his mother said. So when you touch it, they say it pains him terribly. But the monster is crafty. He never shows his tail to anyone. He always keeps his enemy in front of him. Upon hearing that from his mother, the baby little boy had a brilliant idea to be continued. And it'll be continued right here. The Brave Little Boy Part 2. Sneaking out of town one day, the brave little boy was spotted by his friend, a little bird. Where are you going? The monster is ahead and it is dangerous. It's exactly what, what I need your help with. Could you go to the other side of the mountain and peck the monster on the head for me? You're small and you can do it while flying. The bird perched on the little boy's shoulder. Alright, you're my friend, so I'll help. The boy and the bird climbed the mountain. The bones of the monster's victims were scattered across the mountainside, and the monster's fearsome bellow grew louder and louder. Here I go, said the bird as it took off, and the boy collected some sharp pointy stones and put them in his pocket as he approached the mountaintop the boy saw the gigantic monster he sat still and waited silently until from the other side of the mountain he saw the bird shoot down like an arrow and peck the monster's head with his sharp beak the monster's surprise turned around and tried to swallow the impertinent little bird. Just then the boy lunged at the monster's exposed tail and drove a sharp stone deep into the soft flesh of the beast. The monster floated about in pain, but the boy held on 
to his tail, refusing to let go. One by one, he plunged all sharp stones in his pocket into the monster's tail. Eventually, it proved to be too much for the mighty beast. And with a mighty thump, he fell to the ground. But what if little boy found the kidnapped princess and returned home to his mother. The brave little boy married the princess and his bird friend was awarded all the bread crust he could eat. And they all lived happily ever after the end. <laughs> Having two children is just making my head spin. They haven't started arguing with each other yet today. But the day's still young. Those kids are always picking up stuff and hiding it around here. If you find anything strange, just take it with you, alright? I was going to take it anyway, even if you said I couldn't. Help myself to your kitchen too. Eat all your food as well. I won't even, I won't even leave any for the kids. Nah, I'm kidding. That's messed up. Mom said that kids shouldn't touch the bookshelf. If we broke or messed up anything, she'd get mad at us again. Shh, be quiet. Mom will notice me. I guess the mom sleeps here and the kids sleep on the bunk bed over here. That's kind of... Not the way you want to live. <laughs> Joker Khan has turned the port into his personal army base. He forced the queen to go on that voyage with him. He thinks he is so special. Watching the river flows flow makes me remember all the years that have passed by. Wonder what someone like the Queen would see looking on this river with her thousand years of memories. And there's another someone saying a thousand years of memories. So I think you pretty much get they're already setting up that the queen is, you know. I won't say anything, but you know. This old boy hasn't been feeling very well lately. And he starts sulking over the littlest things. This old boy is the drawbridge. I mean, my best friend. I'm worried that he hasn't been feeling well lately. <laughs> Weird. Freaking weirdo. That old man over there is a weird... Yeah, that's what I just said. He loves that drawbridge more than anybody else. That's funny. I called him a weirdo and then the kid calls him a weirdo. <laughs> I'm in love with a drawbridge. Instead of a, I'm in love with a stripper, it's I'm in love with a drawbridge. Mana herb. Four mighty carapaces. Oops. My daughter-in-law is such a cruel individual. 
She hasn't stopped by for years. My grandkids are all grown up. So I think she would have time to visit. Oh, I just knew that girl was trouble. <gasps> Bobby can't visit. I don't get I don't get it. Why on earth does my wife have to gripe about everything? Because she's a woman? And that's what women do. At least all the women I've been around. Great snacks for kids. Sweet, fluffy, steamed cakes are hit among children everywhere. Add in some fruit for a novel delight. Ingredients. Eggs, milk, sugar, flour, one tablespoon baking powder, pinch of salt, fruits, as many as you like. First sift the flour and baking powder. Mix the eggs, milk, sugar, and salt in a bowl and beat well. Then blend in the sifted flour and baking powder. Cut the fruit into small pieces and work into the mix, leaving a small amount to decorate the finished cake later. Put the mix into molds and place into the steamer. Put in a toothpick and check if it comes out clean. If it does, the steamed cake is done. Dress it up with various colorful fruits to dazzle your children. Best serve something. Eastern Tribe Campaign, under the rule of its thousand years year old queen. And then again, another thousand years. So, it, just think about that. Thousand year old queen, right? And then you have Kaim, a thousand years of dreams, right? So, put two and two together, guys. Come on. The queen is immortal. Is They're giving you all the clues that you need. It's obvious. Numar enjoyed an unprecedented period of peace. Leper currents served as a barrier against outside invasions, and Her Majesty's policy of peaceful coexistence served to strengthen the nation. Numar first faced danger 500 years ago when an eastern tribe with a powerful spirit magic sent a massive force into Numara. The army entered from the southwest, clashing with the forces in a fierce battle in the lush forest that covers the region. The battle dealt a severe blow to Namara, although it is hard to imagine now at the time only a small handful of people, including her majesty, had magic abilities. The magical power source itself was still weak. Much of magic's inner workings were still a mystery. The Russian tribe used its spirit magic to engage in warfare in ways the Numarans had never imagined. As with black and white as with black and white spirit magic takes advantage of a mysterious unknown power. But its basic principle and methods are far from similar. And then the battle concluded with Numara's victory after her majesty ultimately made use of her arsenal of black magic. The forest was soaked with the blood of Numarans and Eastern tribesmen, of countless dead on both sides, buried where they lay. The battlefield known today as the Crimson Forest is now home to a legion of wandering spirits, dramatically concerned with the danger that the forest poses as prohibited entry into the woods ever since. Yeah, the Crimson Forest. Alright, guys. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.